And back now on GMA, you hear that music. <laughs> it means one thing. Halloween is coming, and so is a fantastic guest right here. She made her film debut in the 1978 Woo! horror classic. Yeah! Yeah! Halloween, of course we're talking about Halloween. we got to just show the t-shirt right here real quick, right in the front row. Look at that. Yeah. Speaking of Halloween. Yes, the Scream Queen herself, Jamie Lee Curtis, is joining us live. Thank you so much. Good it is great to be America. here. Good morning, America. Great to have you here. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I have to ask you, you mentioned something right in the break before we came here. Do you really have that music, the Halloween music, as your ringtone? I, had it, my, I had it as my ringtone when it first came out, and here's an interesting curio. You know who else has it as his ringtone? Who's that? John Carpenter. Okay. So The yeah. man, the man, you the know what? creator. And the music of that movie really... Uh, became such a big part of its success and its lore. And it's, as you said, you hear that beginning of that music and you go, oh, I'm scared. Absolutely. And that's the goal. Was it weird, though, if you're in a restaurant and the phone goes off and people are like, does she really, is that Jamie Lee? Because she really has that ringtone. I just turn to them and go like this. <laughs> All right, we are so close to Halloween, but we have to ask you, what, what does Jamie Lee Curtis do on Halloween. Do you have a big ritual, anything exciting? You know, I live in an area where nobody comes, so I put ca uh, candy out for kids, and I wake up in the morning and it's all still there, and then I eat it. Just eat it I'm yourself? <laughs> so Save it for next year. Yes. Uh, Halloween is my time of year. I'm born in November. Uh, the late fall has always been my time, and never more so than this year with the 40th anniversary of Halloween. Absolutely. Speaking of that, you led us right to my next question here because it has been 40 years since that breakout role, Laurie Strode, iconic. Here you are. What's it like to get back into that character? So the thing that is profound about the movie Halloween that is coming out on October 19th is that it's a movie about what really happens to someone when they suffer some sort of huge trauma like Laurie Strode did when she was 17. You know, we see these movies, we see these characters, there's sort of mayhem, we all scream, we all are together, and we never know what happens to them. And this is a movie that explores actually what happens. And since trauma seems to be the buzzword of the year for sure, Absolutely. capital T everywhere, politics, art, music, it's appropriate that our movie tackles the true uh, response to that kind of violence, which is trauma, and that's who we find. We find Laurie Strode in isolation, living um, really only in preparation for Michael Myers' return. And I want to follow up on that point in just a moment. First of all, I want to show people a clip here. Oh, we're Halloween. showing a clip? We got a clip here. At we want to take a look back. Yes, we see Lori meeting two journalists who are trying oh, to convince there. her to good. meet face to face with Michael oh, Myers. This is take a look. Yes. Michael Myers murdered five people. And he's a human being, we need to understand. They're transferring him. Tomorrow, seven o'clock. You know, he'll be locked away until the end of his days. That's the idea. Ooh. How many times does he have to die, by the way? Let's try it one more time. One thing I want to get to, what's, what's different about this one, is we're going, we're going to skip all the sequels, right? We're going back to the this beginning. Why was that so important? This is a direct connection between what happened to Laurie Strode on October 31st in 1978 and what happens to Lori Strode and her family, because it's not just about Lori. She has a daughter who was taken from her by the state and a granddaughter who is now 17. And the whole movie takes place, it's generational trauma. And what we're learning also about trauma is that it is generational. Anybody who has a service member who, who fought in a war, when they come home, they are not the only ones with the trauma of that experience. The family receives it and it is generational. And so it's a movie that although is hella scary and is <laughs> intended to be so in a very safe, yes. controlled way. Dark theater, a lot of people, very, very intense. And generations of those strong women fighting back against this character. Yeah, with some integrity. Absolutely. And uh, taking back the power. Jamie Lee Curtis, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry we are out of time. I know, what's with that? I know, I know, but we have to tell people Halloween in theaters Friday, October 19th. Go and don't see you it. want him to go gray, everybody? <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.